listeners, it's Diane Cardano from Cardano Realtors, and here we are, it's January, and what are you thinking? Maybe selling your house. So I have these great 24-point staging checklists. These are my secret tips. I want to go through them real fast, and you can have this video you can go back to listen to. If you want a free copy of that, just go to 215-576-8666, call my number, and we will get you a copy in the mail, okay? So here we go. These are my secret staging guidelines. Number one, you need to remove furniture from the house. I know you love to have your special chair there, but you must have things out. Make it look as big as possible, like a sample house, okay? Second one, must make sure you bring natural light. When you take the pictures of your house, do not put your shades down. You have to have them up. Take all those old balances off if you have the 1980s look. People just don't like that today. The millennials today want something fresh and new. Number three, corners. Get things out of the corners for the pictures so the rooms look bigger. Very important. It's how the pictures look online will get people to come inside. Four, knickknacks. I know you love to have your family pictures and all this stuff on your mantle, but it's gotta go when you're selling your house. Everybody knows that. Don't have to tell you that one, I think. Centerpieces. Make the room bigger by taking off a centerpiece off the table, okay? No centerpieces. Make it just the table, no tablecloth, nothing. Personal pictures, we talked about that too. Not only knickknacks, personal pictures as well. If you need to have a picture up, when you, and you just want it up, just put it up, but not for the, when we take the pictures. You can put it in the drawer when people come to show and put it back, very simple. Closets, oh my gosh, if it's summer, put your winter clothes in storage. If it's winter, put your summer clothes away. We're gonna sell your house. We sell houses in two days. You'll be out in 60 days. So you don't need your stuff, okay? It's still gonna be there in storage for you when it's waiting, so remove things out, clean out your closets, make them look nice and open and bright. Nothing on the bottom, and nothing on the top. Next, cleaning, make it look clean. Spick and span, people love clean. They want something they think no one else ever had before. That's how you have to stage your house. Paint, paint goes a long way. Have some wallpaper up, let's get that home painted. It's so inexpensive to paint. We have marketing dollars put aside for you. We'll get your house painted, pay the painter, and you pay us back at settlement. It's easy. If you spend a couple of thousand, you might better get an extra 10 out of it. That's the idea. Next, number 10, wallpaper. Talked a little bit about that. Let's get it down, or we can paint over it, okay? But it, wallpaper today is not in for most homes. Okay. Windows, squeaky clean. We mean cleaning inside and outside the windows. That little part in the middle, open up the windows and make them clean so people can see out, okay? And if you have those windows that have, um, you know, the seal broken, we're gonna have to get an, an estimate for that and make sure we can get that done before we put it on the market. Boxes, you got a lot of boxes now. I told you to clean everything up. Now you gotta put them away. Put them in someone else's house, your kids. You had all their stuff all these years, time is payback time, right? <laughs> Number 13, what's next? The attic. Well, I'm sure you have a lot of stuff in the attic, but if you make it clean and neat, people are like, wow, look at all the room I have for storage, because people are moving up to your house because they want, they lack storage, that's why they're moving. Number 14, front door needs to look really cool and neat. A new welcome mat, maybe some flowers here. It can be fake flowers, which is fine. It's winter time. No cobwebs, paint the uh, outside, ledges or the you know the railing make it look so they walk in the door it's like first impressions are so important next for 15 the garage imagine that a garage as clean as that paint the floor paint the walls get things out the best you can get that garage to look the better you're going to sell your house and more money you'll sell your house for with a clean garage you need to clean areas where people don't expect it one area is the garage and the basement is probably next number 16 i believe I'm not sure yes basement Clean out the cobwebs, make it spotless, paint the floor gray or tan, and then it, it, it paint the walls. No brown, no paneling, get, get rid of that. Paint over it, okay? Very important. 17, heater, your heater and your water heater, all that's gonna have cobwebs and stuff over it. Just wipe it down, okay? Clean it up. Next, 18, kitchen, it's so important. When we list the house and take a picture, we like to take everything out of the picture and put it back after for the picture. So it makes it look bigger. They can see the kitchen, see your cabinet, see the beautiful countertops you have, all those things, it'll look bigger. Take things off your refrigerator, off the top of your refrigerator, 
things like that. This one had it, but this is wrong. This is not that. I was just showing you how it doesn't look good if it was not there. Okay, next. 19, bathroom, squeaky clean. Get all your toiletries out of the bathroom, your bottles, and put them away. Nothing on the toilet seats from your shelling units, everything off your vanity. Make it squeaky clean again, just like the rest of your house. Get those cleaning people in and get them into the bathrooms. Replace the faucet if you need to. Oh, it's easy. There are little things we can do. Put new handles on the pool, no pools or handles on the cabinets. Little stuff like that. Number 20, getting close, 24. Okay, what's wrong with this picture? Gotta get the deer out of the picture, although it looks great. And congratulations on that, if that's what you're into. But, you know, we gotta get rid of the deer head for pictures. And no MJ, that's too personal, okay? Next, 21. Over decorating. Some of these houses have so much decorated, it's like over decorating. You don't stage to decorate, you stage to sell. And I can tell you a lot more about that if you come to my seminar coming up in January 19th. 22. The mood. Spit the mood. What does that mean? Put soft music on, turn all your lights on. You're not going to waste any money putting your lights on. People want to see. So you got to have the lights turned on. Set the mood. 23. What's next? The outside, of course, we do that actually first, get the outside looking good, so I can take pictures of the outside so I can promote your house while you're doing the inside. And that's perfect. Manicured lawn, power washing, mulching, you know, things like that. Getting your pictures taken the year before you go on the market is always good too. This way you have great pictures when it goes on the market. That's, and we talked that, about that at my seminar too. And last but, but not least, electrical. There's a lot of things that are gonna be electrical needed to be done. That's why we have the home pre-inspected before we list your house, get all these little things out of the way. That's a quick version of my 24 stage point checklist, staging checklist. If you come to my seminar at homesharkseminar.com, that's Home Shark Seminar. It's January 19th, it's coming up as a Saturday breakfast seminar. Please come, you'll get to learn everything you need to know about selling your home and sell it for top dollar. Have a great two weeks. We'll see you in two weeks where we have the market update.